Here are the facts that we know. Unionized African-American women earn about $21.90 an hour. That's not a bad wage. Non-union African-American women earn almost $4 less on average. $4 per hour is the difference between unionized and non-unionized work for African-American women. 72% of African-American women in unions have health insurance. Guess what? Less than 50% of non-union African-American women have health insurance. Union members are us. They are our teachers, iron workers, nurses, government workers, bricklayers, firefighters, machinists. They are the backbone of our communities. And our communities only thrive when we help workers to thrive. Latinos who join a union see their median weekly income increase by almost 38%. They're 41% more likely to have employer-provided health insurance. We live in a nation that is lurching towards oligopoly and oligarchs. Because the, the people who make the hamburgers, they don't benefit in the profits of the company. The CEO does that. The people who make the clothes and work for Kohl's and work that job, they don't benefit. It's just, they just get survival wages and the executives take it all home for themselves. Caucasian working class families have seen a raise of nearly 20% when they are in union jobs compared to non-union jobs. If you don't have a fair market, you can't have successful capitalism. And part of a fair market includes having a strong voice for our middle class, for our working folks, through our unions. Unions are more important now than ever. Because the question is when 81% of this country hasn't had a raise for the past 15 years, do we need to have more policies favoring corporations and executives or do we need to figure out how we give Americans a raise? The one institution that gives Americans a way raise are unions. Cut through all the noise and here's the basic question. Do you think collective bargaining it has a role in American society. If you think it does, if you think people should have the right to organize and bargain and should there should be some counterweight to corporate power, then you should be for AFSCME and the union in this Supreme Court case.